web developer in my day job, and I do a lot of JavaScript, uh, Python and JavaScript, <laughs> all cool. So a few weeks ago, how many of you have heard of WeBuild.SGR? Have not heard about it. <laughs> have not heard about it. Ah, OK. So a few weeks ago, I did this project, data.webuild.sg. But before that, I wanted to talk about exactly three years ago, when I was, I wanted to learn about web development, and I saw a few meetups that are happening in Singapore. I kind of wanted to collate them together. And I used to just edit a static HTML file, and this is how it got started on 28 December 2002. And then after that, this is how the page looked like, and it still looks like that. So what I did was, on the left-hand side, we aggregate uh, from meetup.com, Facebook, and Eventbrite, as well as ICS URL, all automatically through APIs. Every hour, a scheduler or a cron job runs, and we basically populate them. If it's a tech meetup, especially if it's a developer-related meetup, whether it's electronics, design, programming language, and it is free, it has a valid location, so you know with programming you have all these sort of checks. We list them there chronologically. And on the right hand side, we query the GitHub API. So if your location, so please go and put your location as Singapore slash any other country. And if you have at least 50 stars and updated in the last three months, we kind of populate it once again chronologically there. And it just runs smoothly every hour. And if you want, you can uh, subscribe to the calendar. But one day, but by the way, when we do it every hour, we don't store the information in any database. But one day, we, one of our friends was like, are the past events or the repositories saved somewhere? No, we don't, because they're all in memory. Like, who cares about the past data? You only care about the meetup tonight or next week. So obviously, it was nothing. And then we were like, OK, so what can be done? So exactly a year ago, in December, we created a repo called data.webuild.sg. So what we did <coughs> is we created a bot. And once again, every day this time, this bot kind of commits at 3 AM when all of us are sleeping, one for repositories and one for events. The thing about side project is that you want to save all sorts of costs. So this was what the cheapest option possible. And throughout the year, the bot was just committing, and we kind of just forgot about it. Until just a month ago, I decided to kind of aggregate all these JSON files from repositories and events. So are you keen to see the data? Yeah. OK? Yeah. All right, so first of all, if you go to data.webuild.sg, there are 10 graphs. I'll go through some of them. So if you want to create a developer meetup, there are uh, useful ones such as what are the most common event timings? Where are the event locations held? Well, how long is this duration? Sometimes as new people, we do not know. So feel free to access this data for the community for you to organize stuff. So let me give you some of the data. So this is the repositories that were collected. The number of updates. You can clearly, by the way, it went down because um, it's per week. So I kind of did it on a Monday, so it went down. On Sunday, it takes a week. So you can clearly see that the number of repositories with greater than 50 stars updated in the last three months is clearly rising. This shows a young but a growing community. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, clearly shows that, right? It doesn't? It does. Come on. <laughs> mean more stars. Sorry? Mean more repository with stars. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, the 50 stars. At least 50 stars uh, updated. So now this is where I come to the JavaScript community. Update activities for programming language. Well, guess which programming language has the highest number of activities? <laughs> All right, give yourself a clap. So this is... Um, Kind of adding on to what Sarah said, thank you all. Like the number kind of shows that. But of course, JavaScript, because there's front end, there's back end, and sysadmin stuff. The next group that I want to show you is active user groups. So obviously, uh, the user groups queried were 177. I couldn't list them down all. But if the user group has held at least 10 events, I kind of list them down here. Guess which group is, um, once again, very, very active? There's front-end as well. Um, yeah, there's front-end as well, Singapore JS as well. 
so does Ruby as well. So once again, if uh, let's say you're a JavaScript developer, but you want to learn about Haskell, all right, so just click the link and check it out. Just go ahead and attend the meetups. Or you want to attend the Make Affair or, or even a university uh, uh, event. So these are very active user groups. And they are queried with live data for the past year. Next, do you want to know our repositories for programming language, which are the active ones? So once again, as a developer, if the location contains, not match, contains Singapore, it's up here. So once again, um, let's see who, which authors are here. OK, forget about the first one. Columnify is uh, Tim Oxley. Who is this? Uh, Tors. Are you here? Tors, T-O-R-S, GitHub user. Uh, Yati Heat, Tim Oxley. Uh, Chian. Is Chian here? This is by Chian. But nevertheless, check out all these. And uh, also other programming language. I know Mihail does uh, Haskell, right? So one thing, if you are an event meetup organizer, click these and invite the author to the meetup. Maybe sometimes uh, they, they are not in the meetup. And lastly, uh, popular event locations. So once again, uh, this file is in GeoJSON. You know, the thing about side projects is that even though you have never worked with data science or GeoJSON, you get to do it. So these are the popular event locations. So once again, if you're a new meetup organizer, go and check out the popular event locations. And a big thanks to PayPal once again. Where, where is this location? Like here? OK, I don't have internet. But anyway, this is in Hackerspace, one of the popular. And you will also see the groups that have held their events here. So all the data is here. So if you do not know who to contact, contact one of the organizers from these groups, and they will help you out. And uh, finally, I wanted to say that if you have any uh, sort of advice or pull request, we welcome them just to go there. And as a close off, I wanted to say that it's not just JavaScript community. I think Singapore, uh, it is growing, as you can see from the data. In the last year, we have had 124 unique repositories updated, 852 update activities, 785 meetups like this for developers, by the way. I didn't even include startups or marketing or other sort of tech meetups. And 178 user groups. It will be interesting to see how these numbers translate next year. But for that, it's not just JavaScript. It has to be the entire community. So if you have a new person out of the industry or a beginning person, bring that person to a meetups like this. Help someone contribute a pull request or uh, uh, contribute to open source. Sit beside the person, kind of nudge the person. And uh, yeah, let's see how these numbers uh, translate to next year. And uh, once again, please feel free to raise a pull request uh, or an issue. One of the things that uh, data.weevil.sg does is this concept called open open source, which means if you send a pull request and it gets up accepted, we give you the commit access. So go and read up the contributing. So really, it's like in the spirit of open source, and everybody's welcome, raise a pull request. And I hope you check out the other graphs. I would love questions at the end of uh, all the speakers. Thank you. All right, so yeah, so uh, uh, thanks to advices like this, we have started gathering a little bit more of the endpoints from API. So one of them is RSVP count. We cannot get uh, people who show up count, right? Because it's not from an API. We can get RSVP count, but the general percentage is 50 to 60 percent that shows up. So from there, you can kind of do an error correction. So that's what we started co uh, collecting this year. So maybe in the six months, you'll see some RSVP count. We also started collecting the, the file size of open source repositories, the number of com uh, contributors. So if you go to the API endpoints of Google, as you'll see more data. We also just started collecting lat long for locations. So let's see. But yes, RSVP count, that's a very good point. Yeah. All right, otherwise, uh, feel free to talk to me after this. <laughs> <laughs>